help, Inspector. Perkins just photographed the documents and left. Yes, sir. We'll carry it out exactly as you outlined yesterday. My car's outside. Right home. Come rain or come shine, you go through the same routine, and for what? Condition, baby, condition. Makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> come on now, admit the truth. You're really just afraid that I'll get sore at you someday, and you won't be able to protect yourself. Oh, so I won't be able to protect myself, huh? Hey! Oh! Go! Let go, you big hucks. You're messing up my hair! Come on, say uncle. <laughs> oh, oh, my foot! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> That'll teach you to bully a poor little defenseless woman. Defenseless? You broke my foot. Oh, honey, did I really hurt you? Oh. See what I get for teaching you rough and tumble? <laughs> hey, we better get started if we want to take any pictures today. Oh, come on. Come on now and get dressed. Hurry up. Oh, I made a list of the places we ought to get. And I've got a lot of film. Where do we start? Honey, here in London, all you have to do is point the camera, click the shutter, and you've got a picture reeking with history and mossy with tradition. <laughs> we'll just cover as much territory as we can before you have to meet your Mr. Ashby. Dear old Ashby, the most punctual man I ever knew in business. He'd blow his top if I didn't get out of Waterloo Station. On the dot, old boy, on the dot. <laughs> hey, how are chances of my getting a fall suit from Mr. Ashby's woolen goods? Nope, stuff's too heavy for you, honey. It's special from Manchester, strictly for men. You're too fragile, sweet. Uh-huh. How's your foot? Never mind. <laughs> you all ready? Yep. Let's, Let's go. go. <sighs> mm -hmm. well, what's the matter? <laughs> Brother, do you look like Joe Torres? We're off. Honey, wait a minute. Get a load of this. <laughs> Let's get a shot of it. You go over and buy a flower. Okay. Flower? How about a nice bunch of flowers, miss? Well, how about some of these? Hold it. <laughs> Let me have about some of these. And yeah, now, what's all this? Well, I just wanted a picture of my wife to send home. Hope you don't mind. Here. And here's a present for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Flowers. Flowers. Hey, let's get a shot of that church, too. Oh, flowers. Honey, wait a minute. Let me get the flowers out of it. How about a flower, sir? Here, let me fix it for you. Your contact is walking down the street now. That's him. 
There you are, so pretty as a blooming picture. Sorry. think so. Is he dead? Yes. Well, can you identify the man who knocked you down? Look here now, I don't want to get mixed up with no ruddy coppers. All I ask, could you recognize him again? Well, of course I could. Knock me down, he did. Let's got him down. Yeah. Oh, look after the body. What's your name and address? What for, might I ask? You're a witness. Well, my name's Margie Atkins, and I live at 16 Rocker Place. Thank you. You'll hear from us later. I hope not. Got away, sir. Oh, get on the radio. Hop to it. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, my name's Baker. I think my wife got a picture of that man. A picture? We were standing right back there when he ran by. Well, if you got a picture, it's a break for us. I'm sure I got it. Oh, excuse me. This is my wife, Mrs. Baker. Mrs. Baker? How do you do? Uh, may I have the camera? Of course. Where are you staying? At the Savoy. At the Savoy. Uh, would you be kind enough to meet me at the American Embassy in an hour? In the meantime, I'll have the film processed. All right, sir. Oh, my name's Hunt, British Intelligence. obvious. Perkins made a mistake someplace and the police were on to him. And what about film? I had to get rid of it. Get rid of it? Where is it? I put it in the American's pocket. What American? The man who got a nice motion picture of you this morning and everything else on the street. That fellow in the doorway with that blonde girl. That's the one. I suppose he finds it. That's a chance we have to take. Better they find it on him than on me. You know who he is. Did you follow him? His name is Baker. He's staying at the Savoy. And what do we do now? There's only one thing we can do. Pay Mr. Baker a visit. That's great. At the Savoy. Do you have any better suggestions? Or do you want it reported that we failed on this commission? That doesn't leave us much choice. Hunt will be alone directly. Hey, this is quite a projection room. Is that why Scotland Yard is using the American Embassy for the preview? Uh, no, sir. I rather think the inspector felt it would be more convenient for you and Mrs. Baker to meet here. Uh, here we are. Oh, Mr. Baker. Inspector. Mrs. Baker. Hello there. Very kind of you to come. I think we're about ready to begin. Won't you sit down, Mrs. Baker? Thank you. I'm afraid you're going to have to sit through some stuff that we took a little earlier, Inspector. Oh, that's quite all right. Okay, now. Circus. 
Now, isn't that a wonderful shot? Mm, not bad. There we are, see? Waiting for a taxi. You, you can't really recognize us, Inspector, but we're there. The building superintendent took that for us. Yeah, and I had to go back and get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our taxi driver took that one for us. We were looking for a place to have a cup of tea. This is one of the last scenes before the shooting, Inspector. Could you tell us what this is all about? Oh, it's an espionage matter, Mr. Baker. I'm sorry I can't discuss it. Oh, I understand. Uh, did you catch the man who did the shooting? Not yet. That's why I'm so anxious to see these films. Oh, look, here it comes now. There, there's the man. See, he shot the other fellow as he was running away. Now he starts back to the flower woman. He'll turn around in a minute and you'll see his face. He came right... Oh. Oh, Bear. Mr. Hunt, I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. There's no occasion for that, Mrs. Baker. Under such circumstances, it's not surprising you didn't get a picture. Well, if there were just something that we could do to make up for it. Well, there is something you could do. What? Have a look at some photographs in my office and see if you could identify our man from them. Well, could we do it tomorrow, Inspector? I have an appointment at Waterloo Station this afternoon. Yes, yes. Tomorrow would be fine. Just, uh, just call me at your convenience. All right, sir. Fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Good day, Mrs. Baker. Good day. Goodbye. Good day. Time I play amateur sleuth, I hope somebody waves a camera in my face. Don't feel so bad, honey. After all, we were just trying to help. Just think of the poor police. One suspect shot and the other one got away. Yeah. Sure like to know what that was all about. Not me. We know enough. <sighs> Espionage. Boy, I don't want to get mixed up in it. Think of the picture we'd have. We'd actually gotten a shot of that killer. <laughs> hey, you know what? We forgot to pick up our camera from Inspector Hunt. Oh, uh, well, you can pick it up tomorrow when you see him. Yeah, I'll see him. Though. Ashby. I forgot my date with Ashby down at Waterloo Station. Mm -hmm. Back at five, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I say, this is Cedric Ashby. Oh, Mr. Ashby, this is Mrs. Baker. Oh, yes, of course. How do you do, uh, Mrs. Baker? Uh, Mr. Baker just left to meet you, and he's awfully sorry to be late. Oh, that's uh, quite all right. I'll just have time for a nice cup of tea. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Baker. <sighs> These Americans. Miss, what did you forget to... Oh, I'm sorry, I Mrs. thought it was... Baker, is Mr. Baker in? Well, no, he just left for a Waterloo station a few minutes ago. Well, I suppose I'll have to talk with you then. May I come in, please? Well, yes, sure, come on in. What? He may have left it here. Take a look around. Well, you're the man who... I wouldn't, Mrs. Baker. He must be wearing the same coat. Then he still has the film. He went to Waterloo Station. Go after him. How about her? I'll stay with her. You phone me when you get it. Okay. You may as well sit down, Mrs. Baker.
This is a gum baker. I have a car waiting outside. You're going to walk out to the car with me. One single wrong move and I'll shoot you. Start walking. These Americans. What did you do with that film? I told you in the car. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure he hasn't got it on him? I searched him with the car. Take another look. Stand up! Once more. What did you do with that film in your overcoat pocket? My overcoat pocket? Oh. Where is it? No. I want him awake. Where is it? Four thirteen, please. Perhaps if you talk to your wife. You will change your mind. My wife? Hello? Yes. Did you get it? No, it's not on him. Put his wife on. Hello? Biff, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. How about you? I think I know what they're after. Hold on a minute. All right, I'm convinced. Just let my wife alone, and I'll tell you where it is. Just talk. It's in a drawer in my hotel. Put the other woman on. I got it, Mag. Stay there. I'm coming over. You take care of him until I get back. I'm going over to the hotel. I'll take care of him. Sit down. Did you get it? Wait. Hello, Inspector Hunt, please. Hello, Inspector Hunt. This is Baker. Listen, if you want to get that man you're after this morning, get over to the Savoy Hotel fast. He's in room 413. Right. Here it is. Good. What about her? We'll take her with us. Get your coat on. Where are we going? We're going down the lift and through the lobby to the street. And if you're wise, you'll cause no trouble. All clear. Fifth! Louise! No, they've got guns! Stand aside, Baker. Max Vanoff. There's any shooting. This woman will get it first. There'll be no shooting. Take things easy. Stand aside. 
All of you. Start walking. All right? I'll be all right. Look after her. So that's what they were after. That's it. Even if they got away with it, it wouldn't have done them any good. It was just a plant. Would you like to keep it as a souvenir of London? Well, thanks, Inspector. Yeah. Now, if I may use your phone. Uh, you are uh, right down here. Well, that's that. It's been quite a day, hasn't it, honey? That is a masterpiece of understatement, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Stayed old London town. Oh, no rest for the weary. I'll get it. Hello? Uh, Cedric Ashby here, Mr. Baker. It's uh, past six o'clock and I've been waiting here at the station since 3.15. Cedric Ashby, holy cow. Excuse me, honey. Hold tight, Cedric, old boy. I'll be right there. <laughs> I must say, I really can't wait much longer. But don't you see, really, old chap? Hello. Uh, uh, Mr. Baker, are you there? Hello. Really? These Americans. 